everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you're new here, I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday. And today we are going to do something a little different than some of the other ones that we've done before. I thought we could do more of a breakfast meal today and just something real easy. It only takes about 18 minutes to make and I have everything ready behind me prepared. Um, to make this it's not anything real difficult or anything like that i can i think you guys can tell by the title of the video that it is just something real easy so i'm going to bring you guys just a little bit closer and i will get started so i just wanted to go over something with you guys i do have um some eggs over here already prepared because i wanted to show you guys the difference of farm fresh eggs versus store egg, which one's peel easier. So I have them already ready, but I will show you the temperature that you need to set your air fryer at. I have both kinds in here right now. So I have our farm fresh eggs and then just a couple from the store that I have right here. And from what I understand with the farm fresh eggs is to let them in your fridge a little bit longer um, maybe about a couple days longer than you usually would um, for boiling them. That just helps them peel a little bit easier. So that's with them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and throw these all in. I have done a whole dozen and that's what I did with the ones that I already prepared for you guys. So I just have um, a little less than a dozen here that we can do, but you can go ahead and put a dozen in, in it if you want to. Um, another thing with the air fryer, like I said in one of my other videos, if you have one of them trivets, you can put that in also and put your eggs on top. But if you're gonna go and do a whole dozen, you don't really need to do that. Um, Another thing with your eggs when you put them in here is if you don't clean your air fryer good enough, so you really need to like go inside and wipe everything down. Maybe I'll do a cleaning video with you guys um, on how to clean your air fryer, but you will get residue on your eggs when they are done. So if you cook something from like the night before and you didn't clean it out good enough, you might get some speckled stuff on your eggs and that's totally that's fine. So I'll just go ahead and okay. so go ahead and just place them in there anywhere. It doesn't matter. You could probably get away with even maybe like a dozen and a half in here. So turn it on, go down to 260. And then you're going to cook it for 18 minutes. We've tried 16 minutes and they weren't cooked all the way through. They still were a little runny, but not, not too bad if you like it that style or that way of a hard boiled egg. So you could just, um, I guess you're gonna have to time it out with your air fryer on what temp works for you, but we found that 18 seems to be best. So set it for 260, 18 minutes, and then um, I'm gonna let this cook down and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, while this is still cooking, I'm gonna go over um, the eggs with you. So I have the store egg. So that came off pretty easy. Okay, and that came off pretty easy too. You might get a little discoloration with some of your eggs too in there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys.
Here is the store-bought egg and here is the farm fresh egg if you can tell by the vibrancy of the yellow part that is just a little bit more pretty that way. So I'm going to let this finish up and then I'll show you what you need to do with the eggs. Okay, so the eggs are done and I want to show you guys what they look like, what I was talking to you guys about. This is kind of what, oh, I almost dropped it. This is what it looks like when you cook them and if there's other stuff in your air fryer, if you didn't clean it out well enough, that's kind of what it ends up looking like. So don't freak out when you guys see that. I don't get a lot of that on my, uh, the fresh eggs. So I don't know why it sticks to the other ones. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna to have um, something to pull them out with. Just put them in some cold water like you would any other time that you make hard boiled eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up doing that and then I will show you what we're making today. So I'll put them over there. And what I have here today, I just have avocado and then the hard boiled eggs, just some regular white toast. And then I have some uh, Thai coconut green curry powder, if you guys want to give that a try. It's not spicy or anything like that, even though you would think with it being uh, more of a, is curry even spicy? Kinda? Yeah, it's not really spicy, so. I usually eat it on this or like egg salad sandwiches. So this is really good on top of the sandwich. And I slice my egg to put on top of my toast. Okay, so just put it on whatever way you would like. Slice up your avocado and just lay that right on top. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some of this on top. I already went ahead and made my toast ahead of time and then I just put some butter on top. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top and then you can use salt and pepper if you would like. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully that was easy enough for you guys to follow. Just something quick and easy for a breakfast. Don't forget to share with other people, maybe family and friends that are just starting out with their air fryer. And maybe some of my recipes could help out with just quick and easy ones. I'm always trying to find something quick and easy to make for my kids or just my family or whatever, just trying to get something quick on the table. I love using my air fryer. I've been using it now almost every single day for the last couple months. So we really enjoy it. Other than that, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.